Well, Jackie, Ghislaine Maxwell's lawyers really spent the morning here trying to undermine the very damning allegations made by Juan Alessi, the manager, as you said, of Jeffrey Epstein's Palm Beach mansion, who claimed in his testimony that Ghislaine Maxwell did entice underage girls to the house to massage Jeffrey Epstein and that she did take them on flights to other of Epstein's properties in the US. Allegations that really go to the heart of this trial and allegations that Ghislaine Maxwell herself denies. And I should warn viewers there are some details in my report they may find distressing. Thank you. Step away, please. He covered his face with a mask and dark sunglasses, but this is Juan Alessi, who managed Jeffrey Epstein's Florida mansion for 12 years and who says that Ghislaine Maxwell was at the centre of everything that happened there. Did Miss Maxwell instruct you to pick up the young girls? Do you regret working for Mr Epstein? No comment. He had no comment last night, but Alessi had earlier told a Manhattan court that the sprawling home in Palm Beach was run by him, but Maxwell made clear that she was the boss. He testified, from the day she took over, she mentioned to me that she would be the lady of the house. That lady now stands accused of grooming and trafficking underage girls for sexual abuse by Mr Epstein, including inside the Palm Beach mansion. In Mr Alessi's testimony, he claimed he was instructed by Maxwell to pick up a young girl, identified only as Jane, from her school in Palm Beach and bring her to Epstein's house. Jane testified earlier in the week that she was abused by Epstein and Maxwell from the age of 14, starting in Palm Beach. Alessi also claimed he was driving the car when Maxwell saw another young girl, Virginia Jeffrey, and was made to pull over so Maxwell could invite her back to the Florida home. Jeffrey was 15 at the time and has previously claimed Maxwell groomed her to have sex with rich and powerful men, including Prince Andrew, an allegation the prince denies, and neither he nor Jeffrey are part of this trial. Maxwell's lawyers have sought to describe her and Epstein as friends, but in court, Alessi insisted the two were a couple and even showed the jury their shared bedroom on the floor plan of the Palm Beach house. Maxwell even drew up this 56-page household manual, giving staff strict instructions on everything from the distance between hangers in the wardrobe to Jeffrey Epstein's preferred brand of cough sweets, down to the precise number of seconds to warm up their breakfast coffee in the microwave. Alessi made clear that Ghislaine Maxwell was in charge of every single aspect of life in Palm Beach. The manual instructed them to anticipate the needs of Mr Epstein and Ms Maxwell, including this one, to place $100 in the glove compartment of each car, a fact the prosecutors chose to highlight in court. At one point, Alessi claimed he several times discovered sex toys when cleaning up after Epstein's massages. That echoed testimony from the witness Jane, who claimed Epstein used sex toys on her during the massages she says she was paid to give him. Alessi said he returned the toys to Maxwell's closet because that, he said, is where he was told they were kept. Ghislaine Maxwell denies all the charges against her. Well, Maxwell's lawyers really did try very hard to try and undermine Alessi, but I have to say he stood his ground. He was even feisty at times. They kept trying to make him say that at all times it was Epstein who was in charge, not Maxwell. Uh, in one exchange about maintenance on the property, the lawyer suggested to Alessi that he would go to Epstein for instructions. But Alessi, uh, 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 he snapped back, no, I would go to Miss Maxwell. She was my immediate superior. I would go to her first. And on the point of women coming to give massages in the house, which Alessi said happened as many as three times a day, the lawyer asked him if anybody ever complained to him. Alessi said no, they didn't. But then he added, I wish they would have, because then I would have done something to stop it. Siobhan, thanks very much.